Hello, this is Frontline here. Welcome back to another episode of Frontline Friday. I am recording these episodes in advance, so I just recorded this right after the last episode I explained this all in. This episode could be releasing like uh, a couple of weeks from now. It could be months from now. It probably won't be too many months from now, just because uh, oftentimes I want to record on my own. But for now, we are going to be playing some Halo Reach. And I did this, say, a couple episodes back. I forgot what episode I did it in. Maybe it was like the uh, ninth episode of Frontline Friday. But uh, that was when we were doing Firefight and doing a uh, grunt target practice. So in this case, we we're actually going into a custom game and we're on map alpha and that's because I like wanted to create a bunch of like cool maps for uh, various different game types. You can see it. Alpha, it's compatible with motorcycles, dodgeball, soccer, climber. I was basically just trying to make a Halo games like a really, really long time ago. This was years ago. It never like caught on and I never recorded any videos with it, but I still have all of the uh, types and I think they're still on my file share. I mean, the maps are, I guess I don't have any of the, uh, I don't have any of the game types on my file share, but anyway, the, oh, actually maybe I do have the files on that. It's just the maps are there. Let's actually look, I'm curious. Yeah, we have every single thing I have on my file share. So it's all there if you are actually curious to look it up and download it. But for now, we're just playing that. We're doing motorcycles, which is a variant of a race. Race is a uh, game where you're able to go against different people and uh, reach the uh, checkpoints, which is also going to be kind of annoying audio wise. So hopefully I'll remember to turn down the audio a little bit just because the guy in the background will keep saying checkpoint reach, checkpoint reach, checkpoint reach all over again every single time. But yeah, this was one of like the game types that I was really proud of. You just like go into it, it says race, and then we're able to uh, just go around this awesome track. I had like a, uh, a um, it was like a special effect I think it was called. I, uh, made it so that it just uh, it was called juicy so if you everything looks saturated that's the reason it's like uh, juicy makes it so that everything looks a certain way and uh, yeah it's like the whole entire thing with this course is that if you fall off you die and apparently I'm not doing very well while recording here but yeah I wanted to make it so that you're kind of floating above the water I really like the course layout this was the first layout I came up with, and uh, when using like the uh, like grid snapping and being able to uh, move all of the various blocks, I was able to make the whole entire course very smooth. It's basically just made out of building blocks, and uh, this was also something really cool. It was just kind of an idea to make things varied a little bit. Just, ah, oh, dang it. I, I landed it, but then I just couldn't keep it on. So yeah, this idea was just to make a, a giant platform and you had to land it, be able to make that checkpoint, and uh, hopefully be able to land it instead of doing that. So, apparently I'm not doing very well right now. But yeah, this is just one of the very, like, many game types, or, what, yeah, one of the many game types I created in Halo Reach. I tried to recreate some of them in Halo 4 and uh, kind of gave up on the other Halo games, but maybe in the future I'll try to create like a, uh, a tiny Halo games now that I have like uh, all sorts of software and uh, audio video making experience. It's like, I just kind of want to know what you guys would think about Halo games. Do you think like uh, these different game types would be interesting? It's like, I know that race is one of the things I'm proud of, but I also want to show off in the future like uh, soccer and all of those types because soccer was also what I was really happy with. It was just, um, yeah, I'll probably do another episode of Frontline Friday, but soccer is one of those games where it uses um, a modded version of the game. It uses um, Halo Ball and the soccer ball is basically a golf ball, <laughs> which uh, I couldn't avoid. I tried to work around it, but couldn't figure out a way to make the uh, soccer ball actually work as the real scoring mechanism. So instead, I just kind of made it so that uh, you used a golf ball. There's two different uh, goal lines. You have 
various loadouts that you can use to uh, make the ball be uh, shot off in different directions. You have gravity hammers, energy swords, all kinds of different stuff like that. But yeah, it's like this this race is kind of going on for a while. I'm not sure how interesting it's becoming now. So you know what? We're actually just going to uh, end this and hopefully we'll be able to like try out some of the other race maps. Because originally I was just going to do motorcycles, but you know what? We're, we'll just try out all of them. Because the thing with all of like the map types is that some maps, like they kind of contradict each other. So whenever you're making a race game type, it has to be on one certain map. So the way I um, was able to get around this is create three maps, and each of them have different conflicting things. So Alpha has motorcycles as its race game type. Bravo has NASCAR. And Charlie has Air Force. Air Force I actually tried recently, and I realized that it's actually not that good of a game type. I'd, I'd have to rework it. I think I messed up on the map and messed up on a lot of different things. I just rushed through it. I was all like, hey, you know what? We're going to like have all of the uh, um, military services in there. And it's like, Air Force, we can just have like a Banshee race. And uh, yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work as well as I wanted it to. But yeah, the cool thing about NASCAR, it's like the uh, twist I put onto it was that you're in Ghosts and there's a bunch of landmines and you're able to like, shoot your opponents, but while you're shooting your opponents, you actually can't a boost. So it's basically a uh, workaround of trying to figure out when to boost, when to like shoot. I mean, when you're going solo, you don't really need to shoot that much. I feel like maybe you'd want to shoot the landmines. Like while your boost is like recharging or something just so that you don't hit them as easily. But mainly it's just like it's easier to avoid the landmines than it is to shoot them. So that's just one of the uh, pieces of advice I can give to anyone trying to uh, do this on their own like a solo. <laughs> then I do a swimming routine apparently. be able to get through that. Yeah, the ghost was a really cool thing that I realized that you could race with. I originally thought you could only use the um, motorcycles, but yeah, it's like you're able to have a bunch of different vehicles. Banshee is one of them too. Oh, and that was actually one thing that was really cool about Halo 4. I wanted to create a mission in with it, but never. I never finished scripting it. And I never actually produced it but it was like if you scaled the uh, people enough because it was like a modded thing if you uh, don't know race was actually never part of Halo 4 it's just that because like people wanted race race became one of the things on the file share that uh, you could use as a modded game type so because it was modded you could mess around with the scaling of people so I made the Banshee as small as it could be, I made the person as large as he could be. So it made it so that like, the uh, person was actually like poking outside of the Banshee, and it looked like he was just the superhero Banshee man. And I wanted to create a whole entire series of that, but never got to it. I mean, if I did it now, I probably would be able to do something with that, but I'm probably not going to worry about it, unless I really want to. Because it really is a cool idea. <laughs> well, that didn't work. Let's hope we spawn inside a ghost. Sometimes when like you uh, die and it doesn't quite register, it makes it so that you actually don't end up inside your vehicle and you're just kind of walking around weirdly. There's a lot of glitchy things about race and stuff, but it still ends up being all right. Well, I guess if this is the final lap, we'll be able to like, uh, finish it off. And then we'll uh, check out Air Force, even if it may be a little rushed and not as good and polished. There we go. Then we can just go right into the ocean. <laughs> yeah, Air Force won't take long, though. It's like we'll be able to get in and out of there within, like, uh, minutes. But yeah, that's on my Charlie map. Be able to go to the race options. Air Force, get to the end first. This was just my idea of uh, trying to go through a uh, large portion of Forge World. So as you can see, you 
go through here, you're going through rings, which would have been cool if I had built actual physical rings around them. Otherwise, it's kind of hard to see where you're going. As you can see, I can just barely see exactly where all of these things are. One thing that would have been really cool is if I incorporated like banshee tricks that needed to be done to like do this map because in some ways like banshee tricks are possible like if you do like the uh, left bumper and that you can go in a loop but at the same time that's really all that you can do you just kind of go side to side i also messed up the map right here because those are supposed to be like part of a different map if you make like things game type specific they're not supposed to show up in other game types but i think i forgot to do it with all of those stuff but yeah i'm gonna have to like if I want to make this map actually like a, a real thing, I have to like polish quite a bit of features. Oh, in this part, you're also able to like go in two different directions. It's just, I think the idea I had like here is that when people are racing, it's like it would make it so that it's like an air show and people would like split off in different directions and like try to finish the race in different ways. So yeah, right there. The, the interesting thing about this map that I'm actually, I actually really like in comparison to the other maps is that it's actually kind of funny now that I think about it. It actually works really similar to the Glide minigame in Minecraft if you actually saw me play that. Because it has three rounds and whoever like gets the best times in like the combination of all three wins. Because this map is also based upon three rounds. That's actually really interesting. I like... I came up with a glide minigame before 4J did. Not really, because this is nothing even close to glide, because especially like, you can fly anywhere you want to. But yeah, it's like that's actually really funny. <laughs> I created glide before. Yeah, and this time we'll go this way, because why not? I feel like this map could be a lot better if, like, uh, the checkpoints were like in places that you really needed to uh, work with it. Like say if there was another ring over here, you had to roll twice to get to it in time. And then like there'd be a ring here. And then you'd have to like make a uh, barrel roll to be able to go to a place right there or something. There's just a lot of things I could have done that I didn't do. And it would have been nice if I had thought about them earlier, but you know what? Sometimes it's better to come to an idea later and you're able to improve upon it just because you've been given time to think it over in your mind. So relatively, once you know the course, I mean, it's not that bad to know where to go next because sometimes you can like see the uh, rings pop up as they come. But yeah, I can imagine like with a bunch of people, the rings also seem a little small, you know, people would crash into each other quite often, but maybe that would also make it interesting, I'm not sure. And yeah, that's it, just fall out of the uh, banshee, there we go, I felt my controller vibrate as we plummeted to the ground. <laughs> but yeah, those were like the uh, race maps, I'll, uh, you can be able to have those on like the uh, file browser, just search up in the file share Frontline Rain 4 because that's my uh, gamer tag if you didn't know. I'll just uh, keep those up there. If I ever update Charlie, I will probably make a note of it. I'll see what I can do about that. But for now, it's not, it's not really my top priority. My top priority is making other videos and stuff. But that might be a fun project for the future. Anyway. But that has been all of the time that I have for this episode of Frontline Friday. So if you like the video, like it. But that has been all the time I have. So this has been Frontline, and I'll see you later. Bye.